So much has been made about the stock market and the outcome of the presidential election. While there are distinct policy differences that should result in economic backdrops that impact the stock market differently, there are also unknowns that, well, to a degree, are impossible to predict. First, it goes without saying that the pro-business policies of Donald Trump should result in much better top and bottom line growth. And that, well, that ultimately is what propels stocks higher. Now, of course, the wild card is, is a trade war or a vendetta for companies that move their operations outside of the United States. Meanwhile, and maybe this is the reason, one of the reasons, Wall Street and those big businesses, well, they've been putting their money behind Hillary Clinton. In fact, no executive from a top 100 company uh, in this country has made a financial donation to the Trump effort. And with profits near all-time highs, you can make the case that uh, maybe these guys care more about global trade and globalism than they do about lower U.S. taxes, even their own taxes. Now, there are some recent signals from the stock market that uh, you can sort of conclude point to a Trump win for November. One is the sell-off in solar stocks. I mean, listen, this has been happening for a while, but more recently it's become an avalanche as Donald Trump has caught up to his rival. And then there's the Mexican peso, which is at its lowest level ever versus the U.S. dollar. Now, yeah, like solar, I got to tell you, it, 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 it's not a recent development, but it's become so much more pronounced. As Trump's numbers have soared, the peso has collapsed. Now, there is a conundrum at this, though. It, it doesn't make it easier to have a trade war. And I got to tell you something, Mexico looking real good as a vacation destination. As for today's session, well, it was all about the debacle at Deutsche Bank, which finished the session at an all-time low. There are a lot of concerns uh, about the capital there because American regulars, regulators have threatened a $14 billion fine. Now, I, in the meantime, I was happy with news here in this country. Home sales, they tumbled from July, but they were up 20% from a year ago. What I liked a lot is that your median price actually declined, making it a lot more, lot more important. Now, as far as the market is concerned, tomorrow, this is what you want to watch. The Dow must hold 18,000. In the meantime, these changing poll numbers and the debate tonight means I'm going to have to freshen up my Wall Street investment report. Uh, it should be done in a couple of days. In the meantime, go to my website, wstreet.com. I'll have that report for you and, of course, my daily commentary to get you through this market day to day.